Hello again, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, we're going through QBS 8 and some of the new features. I'm just doing a, a quick overview on some of the new features that I've found within QBS. Um, the first thing I will touch on is the workspaces. Uh, now within QBase, it's given us a few more uh, options within workspaces to create uh, different views. So this is my project minimal that I've set up. All I've done basically is expanded the, the full workspace and I've got the, oh, the transport function open. Uh, what we can do now, for instance, would be to go to another workspace. Let's go to the Project Plus Mix console. And as you can see there, when I open the Mix console, um, <clears throat> it, it's opened it up. Let's actually, let's make this, let's say a bit smaller, move it over there. And if we go to workspaces again and update workspace. So now change it back to minimal. And then if I go to Project Plus Mix Console, press F3, and there you go, you can see our mixer opens up in exactly the same location as it was. The uh, size and aspect ratio is exactly the same as it was. Uh, this is great, obviously, if you've got dual monitors and so on. So wherever you place this or your transport function, again, let's open transport function and update workspace. Go to Project Minimal, and then back to that one again. And you can see you know everything's where it should be uh, really really nice feature again allows us loads of different variations as you can see uh, also this is the new section that I touched upon briefly before uh, where it allows us to have the VST instruments or the media bay instantly accessible from our project now this can be turned on or off in the normal um, racks view there Obviously you can turn the ins inspector on and off. Let's turn the inspector on and let's turn racks off. So there you go, you can see it's disappeared. If you want it back on again, just turn it on on the inspector. And this shows you all the VST instruments within our project as well as the media bay. Again, you can just drag and drop uh, preview loops. Uh, really, really handy. So yeah, nice little feature nice to have it there personally for me uh, I think it um, takes up too much space and unfortunately it doesn't let you make it any smaller it'll allow you to to make it bigger but not smaller and that for me takes up too much space on my one monitor so I probably wouldn't use that feature um, so I'll turn it off again then I can see my full project so really really handy uh, nice little feature again we can open up all our different things from the inspector menu really really nice um, another great feature is the plugin manager so if I click on plugin manager let me delete that one in fact let's uh, delete collection okay so what I'm going to do now is click new collection and empty and we'll call this drum bus click OK and what we can do now is just quickly drag a few in and what I'll do is create another new collection empty and we'll call this vocal channel again those might be the ones that I want just drag them across close that down so now on an audio channel if I go to my inserts uh, what I could do is open up this and there you can see I've got my vocal channel, the one that I've just created. Um, saves me searching through endless, endless folders of vocal effects. Or if I click there, I could maybe have my drum bus one. And again, just pick them, you know, as and when you need them. So probably worth spending a little bit of time creating your own unique banks of presets for maybe group channels, effects channels, drum buses, vocals maybe drums, guitars, 
all sorts um spend a bit of time because in the long run it's worth creating these things so you've instantly got a go-to bank so you're not searching through loads of things or having to type names in to get to the preset that you want find it really really handy steinberg are obviously spending a lot of time in development now uh, making it a lot quicker and a lot more productive a lot like some of the other doors out there which um, are just sort of hands-on quick copy paste drag drop cubase is now going in that direction uh, which which is handy i still like to know the ins and outs i like to know how things work and where things are uh, just in case you know if you've got a good understanding of the fundamentals then everything else becomes really really easy so um, but yeah another nice little feature uh, Cubase like I say is definitely going in the right direction I'm really really happy with these new little touches uh, so Cubase 8 there you go if you like what I'm doing or you've got any particular questions about Cubase 8 then over the next few days I'll be immersing myself in it so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you got any uh, questions get in touch till next time bye bye Hey.